Hello and welcome to MaxSurf Webinar 5, Video 4 on Damage Stability. We've seen how we can set up all of the different aspects of damage stability, including cases, key points, and verifying our model and our stability criteria. Now we're going to actually run some damage stability analysis. We'll do a quick equilibrium and large angle stability analysis, and then look at limiting kg, where we try and work out the maximum VCG that the vessel can attain when subject to damage and still pass the stability criteria. One thing about the healing that happens in a limiting kg analysis is that we need to run it in both directions to work out which is the worst case, heel to starboard or heel to port. There's also a couple of settings in the limiting kg setup. The most of them are pretty obvious in terms of defining our trim and LCG. But the setting at the bottom says the current load case specifies the initial loading of damaged tanks. You should turn this on in situations where there's a large amount of fluid in the tanks initially, and then that tank is damaged and the contents of that tank are lost to the ocean. The reason we might want to do that is to make sure that the extra increase in VCG due to, due to the large amount of fluid in the tanks doesn't have an adverse effect on the uh, damage stability criteria. But you should really only use that in the case where there's a lot of fluid in the tanks. Lastly, once you've actually carried out a limiting kg, it's always a good idea to go back, take the results from the limiting kg, and then run them through again using a standard large angle stability analysis using the same criteria, and make sure that in fact your vessel does just pass or is right on the uh, limit of failing your criteria using the large angle stability analysis. So let's go over to Hydromax and we can see here we've got our vessel and body plan and we're looking at one of the damage cases. So the first thing I always do is run the equilibrium analysis and take a look at which way the vessel is healing. So in this case it's healing to starboard. Then I'll also do a quick check on the large angle stability. So I'll do my setup for my heel and I'll make sure that my healing is turned on to starboard and I'll go from minus 10 to 90. So I can run through the large angle stability analysis and I've already turned on the damage stability criteria that I defined in a previous video. So when we look at the large angle stability curve, the GZ curve, we'll see the properties of that curve, max GZ, down flooding point and so on. And those properties of that curve will be used to evaluate the damage stability criteria that I chose and we can see here that this one passes. I've got two criteria here. This one's a large angle stability criteria and this one's an equilibrium criteria. So I do that first before I uh, do the rest of my limiting kg analysis. The next step is to switch to limiting kg and then in the analysis menu do the setup as usual. So now that I know which way I need to go that's already set up for me from minus 10 to 90 and I'm going in the starboard direction and uh, the trim set up we need to define usually a free trim so I'm going to start out with an initial trim of zero and uh, it's a symmetrical vessel so a TCG of zero and in the slide I mentioned this option here that if you've got tanks that have a lot of fluid in them then uh, you might want to turn on this option to uh, specify the initial loading of the tanks uh, from the current load case uh, before damage starts. So we run through our limiting kg as usual, that takes a little bit of time, and then we see the results of the limiting kg in terms of the displacement and the maximum VCG that can be attained by the vessel in the different displacements, and we can see which are the governing criteria. So in this case, my GZ curve criteria governs what can be defined. Those, those limiting criteria are set in the criteria tree as usual, which I showed in the previous video. So limiting kg really run in the same way as we run it with our intact stability, but with damage stability criteria and verifying that we heal in the right direction to take into account the worst case scenario. Thank you for watching.